Hello again. My name is Bruce Clow. I run Cirrus L Beekeeping Supplies. Today I'm going to talk about some of the peripheral things that we might be using in our hive, such as bee escapes and queen excluders. So here we have a basic setup for a, a beehive. We've got a brood box on a floor. Now over time we'll probably end up adding another brood box and then as we're getting close to the honey flow we're going to add on a honey super. Often honey supers are three-quarter depth, which is this box is. But a lot of people want to make sure that the queen doesn't get up and start laying in the honeycomb. So we have a device called a queen excluder. This queen excluder is made from very heavy gauge wire, two mils thick, and it's very specifically spaced to allow worker bees to get through, but the queen is too big. She can't get through this device. So this queen excluder is then placed on top of the brood boxes so that the queen is restricted to laying down in the bottom brood boxes, usually one or two boxes. Now, we do have cheaper options, which are just as effective. Here we have a plastic one, which is about half the price. We also do have metal rim queen excluders, so it's the same as the wood rim, but instead of uh, wood, obviously, it has a metal rim. Now the nice thing about this plastic is we've gone to great care when producing the die to make sure that the edges of all the entrances are nice and smooth and rounded, so that the worker bees, as they climb through, they're not damaged at all. Then the honey super is put on top, and it gives the worker bees lots of room to start filling the comb with that delicious honey. Now, after the box is full of honey, we want to take off the honey with as few bees as possible. We don't want to be carting a lot of bees back to our honey house. So we have another device called a bee escape. Let's have a look at that. So here we have the device called a bee escape. As you can see, it's basically a hive mat. In this case, it's a two corner bee escape with a hole drilled in each corner. And in this case, two metal corner escapes. Now we orient this so that the holes are at the top and underneath the honey super. So once this is placed on the hive, no more bees can get up into the honey super, but the bees that are in there are able to get out and down. So the bee escape is like a one-way valve for bees. So we'll leave that on for 24 to 48 hours, and most of the bees should have exited the honey super. So when we come to take the honey off, we can take the whole box and there'll be very few bees. Now one of the keys to a, a good bee escape is good pheromone transfer because we need to attract the bees to these holes. So you can see there's good ventilation here. We also want to make sure that there's plenty of room for the bees to get out. So in this case, we're using a 21 mil hive mat. It's probably very minimal. A 26 or a 50 mil hive mat with the bee escape would be much more effective over time. So you get more bees out quicker using a deeper hive mat. So those are two of the uh, peripheral little pieces of hive equipment that we'll probably use at certain times of the year. So I appreciate you listening and watching. All the best in your beekeeping. Thank you.